I've been looking through my students' artwork submissions, and I almost feel compelled to make this video. I'm seeing the same repetitive bad habits. Now this video I'm about to share is pure gold. So watch until the end. Number one is products. Poor quality products equals poor quality work. I recommend mixing your own henna or finding a good supplier. Avoid using chemical-filled cones. You just won't get a smooth finish. I recommend using a 00.45 tip or 0050 tip for Arabic designs. You can find these on our website, www.lishashenna.com. Number two is methods. Now it's time to leave behind all your old habits and allow me to reprogram you. I see this common issue all the time, pressing the cone tip too hard on the skin or scraping the skin. This blocks the tip of the cone, leaving you with a messy finish. Look at these messy examples. As you can see, it's impossible to get a clean finish because you're pressing down too hard. Instead, use this method. Lift the cone and draw from the top. It's like your cone's floating. I want to see this implemented from today. I hate getting my hands messy, but I'm doing this for you guys. Let's have a look at what pressing too hard looks like on a real hand. This is a common error which I see on a daily. Today, you are going to fix this and never look back. Bad habits be gone. Now let's use the correct method. Look closely. I'm barely touching the cone on the hand. Look how smooth that's turned out. Number three, shading. Now I want you to shade using fine lines. Take your time with this and make sure it's neat. Number four, mess. It's only normal to have slight smudges here and there, and I'm going to show you how to fix it. From today, you will start going over messy edges like this. Simple as that. Lastly, lines. I hate them. You hate them. We all hate them. But I'm going to teach you to love them. Use my lift and drop method. It's okay if there's small gaps. Just fill them in. If the cone you're using can't do this, then it's time to get yourself new cones. Comment if you're guilty of doing any of these errors. Thank you all for watching, and I really hope you will benefit from this. Make sure you join our free henna classes before we go private.